We've got the latest wave of Masters of the WWE Universe coming up after this. This is a really awesome wave. Jake the Snake, I actually expected. How could they not mix him up with King Hiss? Mattel WWE figures, they always have these really cool zombies or monster figures, and Jake the Snake has made an appearance in those series as before. Mr. T, I don't remember ever seeing him. This is such a iconic 80s wave, and then they matched it with two more modern wrestlers. Zodak is my favorite Masters of the Universe character, so I'm happy to get this guy. And this guy, the Fiend Bray Watt, I should really like him. I think I thought there was way too much detail. I was really kind of disappointed at this one at first, but now that I've seen some of the pictures and reviews, he's so trap jaw and the little homages and the fact that his jaw is articulated is super really cool. Jake the Snake, I'm the most excited for. He definitely reminds me of Maskatron a 70s retro Steve Austin toy, and I always wanted one, never had one. Such a fantastic gimmick. We're getting gimmicks, we're starting to see gimmicks on these figures. I'm gonna cut these out around the bubble. I guess I should show you the cards, what is wrong with me? Here is the beautiful artwork. Loving that, it's showing you the features. I found these awesome unpunched cards. Unfortunately, they're all messed up at the bottom but it's good enough for me to grab these up. What's happening here in Canada is that people are going crazy mad to get these figures. I'm watching them on the computer, checking the stock and running to the store. And by the time I get to the store, usually the boxes have been ripped apart and people have chosen what they want. It's it's disgusting. I don't know if it's one person. It can't be one person, but they're selling out crazy well and there's not enough of them. On average, we're getting about two cases per store, at least at this last wave. And I've also noticed that from the few stores that I've visited, it seems that Jake the Snake and Mr. T are going to be the ones that are going to sell out the quickest. These are grown men who are collecting this line so far. We have still yet to tell if the children are actually even going to take these, if the adult collector will be enough to sustain these. Despite how hard they are to keep on the shelves in Canada, I'm starting to see things online where in the States they're starting to accumulate and they might not be doing as well as we all think now that all the adult collectors have been able to get their fix. I have yet to get Wave 1. I'm really upset about that of the WWE series. And also in Canada, we've only gotten four, as far as I know, Skeletor, Man-at-Arms, Evelyn, and He-Man from the Masters. These scissors are not working for me. And why don't I have my glasses on? I'm unable to make these stand very well. That's the first thing that I noticed. I'm having a hard time getting them to stand. I would really like to get some plates for the bottoms of their feet, which they do have the peg holes for. Also, what I find very weird is that they are putting more money into the Origins figures than they are into these. They reuse so many things from Masters of the Universe classics for these figures, but when they produce the Masters of the Universe ones, they're making all original sculpts. So we have kind of weird fitting body armor. I've never opened up any of my classics, but I'm pretty sure that the way that this Mr. T vest is fitting, that it must be. Also, there is a place for some weapons. So I'm pretty sure that that is a Masters of the Universe classics armor. We do have two original armors here. This vest could have been used in the WWE line. I don't see a lot of crossovers that way from the WWE stuff. However, Create a Superstar stuff does work really well with these Masters mashups. There's lots of great accessories. Let's take a look at all of these individual figures. This boot has been used a lot. This is your average everyday wrestling boot, and we've seen that in black a lot. The best thing about these figures, they can come detached at the thighs and the waist and the arms and the head. 
and the hand so you can mix and match all kinds of awesome ways and make your own characters. Now Jake gets the battle armor and this we've seen before with a few of the previous released figures and it has the same mechanism where you can put in the little tile in the chest. So you could mix and match some of the other ones if you have some before. It's cool to get that snake print. I really like the details on this, but not as much as I like the details on his painted torso here. Oh, and inside, under there, look, it's green. Do you know why that is? Because, like that figure, Maskatron, you can take off his mask and reveal his snake face. Very V-like. I like this. This is his face. He looks kind of old. Kind of looks like a dad for this face sculpt that they put together here. Not sure I really like the likeness or how, I don't know, chubby his face looks. <laughs> that mullet, receding hairline and mullet. I don't know if I recall him being that receding, but the gimmick is amazing. And he has some snake details printed in purple on his tights. Love that paint detail on the body. It looks so good. Here he is in snake form. Just look at that face. Incredible. Love it. Really awesome. Creepy yet adorable. That is what I love about this line. Hopefully the kids love it too. His awesome accessory is this snake. It's rubber. It's a rubber snake. It's awesome. Its face looks like this and they did actually paint the eyes and I have it upside down. Yeah, I like it. And you can wrap it around him. They've done this with other Jake the Snakes and given him snakes and other spooky monster series and whatnot. Whoa. Okay, let's see what we're getting here with Bray Watt. I'll show you the mini comics, our Canadian weird mini comics at the end. But when I looked inside, I noticed that they hit him as Prince Adam, <laughs> which I find very bizarre, but they did give him the vest. So I don't know what the story is, and we really don't have the stories in our comics. They took away all of the words, but that's good and bad in some ways. I'll talk about that later. Vest comes off. It's removable. Two armbands on one arm, and his torso comes with a black tank top, which could definitely come in handy. He's got some details on here. Noticing kind of like the details on the shorts are kind of tribal tattoo-ish. Something that I don't really like. Cheesy kind of 90s. But all of the paint on these are minimal and again made like toddler toys and I love that. Hunky, chunky, awesome, bright pops of color. Even though with the WWE opposed to the Masters of the Universe that are very bright. These tend to be on the darker black scale which will be fun the more figures we get to mix and match them with other ones that we have. Features that make him look so much like Trap Jaw are his actual articulated jaw, which is done in a very odd way. You can actually see the hinge down the middle. Yeah, it's not your regular jaw that you get. The whole plate turns down. See how that is? It's kind of bizarre. And like Trap Jaw's loop, that you used to like be able to zip tie him down on, they put a little dread sticking up so you would have that same feature. What an amazing little detail to add to him. And that is how he's looking. What a hideous monster. His accessories are awesome and I'm looking forward to many other figures getting these minimal gimmicks that are just perfection. So hands come off. And because of the interchangeability, we have, just like Trapjaw did, interchangeable hands. I wish we would have had three different ones. I don't think these are the classic ones, but they really do look like the classics. So I'm not sure if these are going to be part of the Masters line or they're old from the classics. I don't think that the hand joints are the same. We have the Axe Awesome with hook on it. Show you more on that later and then we have spiky ball so cool you can do that you can take off the other hand which is something you can't do with roboto or trap jaw and you can have two crazy hands how awesome is that 
Now, just like Trapjaw, on the back of the vest, we've got two little holes there. And do you know what convenience that has? Well, let me show you. So, little slots here, little hooks here, storage here. Because the vest is rubber and the attachments are harder, this is a really good match made in heaven. Works out really well. They stay nice and secure in there. It's also really interesting how they have made him Prince Adam. Because Prince Adam is such an iconic vest wearer and they've given him his vest, it's kind of cool that that is the transformation that they have. I wish I knew what the story was behind that. Maybe I can figure it out from the comic books. Again, we'll look at those in a moment. Oh, now I'm definitely having a hard time making him stand with the extra weight on his back. I'm gonna have to really hunch him forward. Okay, Seth, so cool. He's pretty standard. I guess he might be people's least favorite, but one of the things that I liked about Zodak was that he was so simple and he was the epitome of all aspects of Masters of the Universe. He had the space, he had the barbarian, he had the monster. So he was all three entities in Masters of the Universe. So that is why he was my favorite. And I also really like this design. I don't know if he's supposed to be more Wonder Bread He-Man <laughs> though, because he is having the black harness, which was part of an accessory pack back in the day. So it does look like this is the classics wear because we have this extra unusual special backpack, which they wouldn't have put this much detail in a V Masters line. I don't know how to remove it though. Yeah, you might have to just stretch it off because I can't seem to find the opening. Oh, there it is. Or maybe. No, they've glued it, but you can stretch it around his torso. Here is Seth in his wrestling look. I like the boots. I really like these gold accents. He's super simple, but I love a simple black based figure. Good for customization fodder. I really like his one tone simplicity. Uh, he looks really good. Kind of a contrast to the rest of these with their features. This was a very feature heavy wave and he's more simple. And to tell you the truth, in the Masters of the Universe originals, the ones that were basically just humanoid characters were kind of my favorite. Gimmicks have never been my favorite part of a toy because they sometimes do take away from the mobility or just from the sculpt itself. Sometimes the design of the character is compromised by a feature. They gave him Dragoman's sword. Very awesome design from the Four Horsemen. A super cool addition to a more basic figure. Okay, so we're gonna go from the most simple figure to probably the most complex figure here. We have Mr. T, super 80s awesomeness. He's got his classic hair. The likeness is pretty good. He's got two armbands on each. He's got the Jitsu armor or King Randor armor, but it's Jitsu armor because he's got room for two swords back there. And he comes with a Jitsu hand and a Fisto hand in gold. One for each hand, so sweet. Ampidextrous action going on here. Two different painted feet. I really like how the figures aren't necessarily always one character. Sometimes they implement many characters into it, just using the features from different Masters of the Universe characters. He looks so good. This armor is more rubbery. His gauntlets are silver. This is what he looks like more in his wrestling pose. These bands are separate and can come off. And I'm wondering if they're the same sculpt. I think these are different molds. It's kind of hard to tell for different levels of banding. But they look very similar, so maybe they're not. Maybe they're just stretched. They're nice and rubbery. I'm sure you're able to put them in any configuration that you want. All right, super cool figures. I really, really love them. I think they're awesome. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna show you these Canadian comics so you can see the difference between them. I'll discuss the pros and cons of them not having the words in them. I uh, hope you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Okay, let's see if I can figure out what's going on in these comics. All of these are super iconic covers from the vintage 
comics that we've seen before. The comics are just one page. In Canada, we don't get the whole bio and everything. We have all of this stuff. I think there's stats for them. Fortunately, we don't get those. And maybe from the pictures, we can get the gist of what happens here. I see some fighting. I see some snakes involved. I don't know exactly what's going on there, I have to admit. They're fighting in a ring. What more can you say? The artwork is exceptional. I especially love these drawings like we saw in the vintage line. I love looking at that artwork. Always. Got Jake the Snakes. Shows him in his two forms there. It's kind of the same scene going on. Seems to be all part of the same story. He's powering up. He's turning into a snake man. Okay, and the fiend, what it's looking like inside. We got no words, we can see more artwork. But this is the whole Prince Adam thing. What's going on there? He's finding this armor. We got Prince Adam happening there, and then he's turning evil, maybe? Or he's touching. <laughs> what, where, what, is he? What's that flash of memory? I don't know what's happening there. But I guess it's Prince Adam turning into... I don't know. I don't know what's happening. It's cool, though. And the armor looks good. And then this guy's pitying the fool. He's doing some forging. Is he forging his own fist? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. And he sees something and he's running away and he's pointing. Yeah, I have no idea what's happening in the comics. I like the artwork again. And I'm happy to get them. I have a question for you, though. Do you like having different covers with short stories or would you prefer them do what they do with the origins and they give them all one comic and have more pages to it which one would you prefer